What is up, Paradix? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Declasse Tornado Custom. Now, the regular Declasse Tornado is an OG car from 2013. However, the Tornado Custom, the Benny's version, released with the Lowriders Customs Classics DLC update in April of 2016, and you can find the regular Tornado on the Benny's website for 30000 or of course you can find it on the street and store it for free. And the Benny's Custom Conversion cost for the Tornado is 375000 which honestly isn't too bad for a Benny's car. Now the Tornado name was first introduced in GTA San Andreas, However, the one in GTA 5 is pretty different compared to that one. Now, the Tornado can be found in either a hardtop or a convertible version, which is the one we're using in this video. And of course, both of those can be found in rusty versions as well. And lastly, we of course have the Mariachi Tornado with the guitars and stuff at the back. Now, in terms of the performance of the Tornado, it's in the Sports Classics class, and as to be expected, it is <laughs> extremely slow. It doesn't even break 100 miles per hour, even with max upgrades. However, that's not what it's intended for. It's intended more for a nice cruiser, nice low rider, good customization, and that's exactly what it is. Drives very smoothly, as to be expected. Great customization. It's just a great overall Benny's car for the money. Now in terms of the color you see here in the background, this is a worn sea wash. And for those of you who don't know that much about rare colors and stuff, worn is a texture that you normally can't get without glitching or modding. It's a bit brighter than matte, almost like a satin color which I really like. Now to get this worn texture, you actually have to find a rusty tornado in the color you want and then upgrade it to the Benny's version. And of course the rust goes away and then you have that beautiful worn color left behind. Now there are eight different worn colors you can find for the tornado and finding the sea wash, which is the one we're doing in this video, is the hardest color to get because it's at the bottom of the spawn order. Basically to get these rare worn colors to spawn, you wanna go to the Sandy Shores area with a friend and start parking the different color variants of the rusty tornadoes next to each other and just make sure to keep an eye on them so they don't despawn while your friend is the one finding the streetcars and parking them in a line. This basically forces the game to eventually spawn the other rare color variants that it hasn't spawned yet, and eventually you'll get the color you want. And of course, once you upgrade it to the Benny's version, you'll get that clean, worn color as I talked about earlier. And a big thank you to Emperor, who's the one who helped me <laughs> find the sea wash color. I absolutely love it. But anyways, in terms of what the Declasse Tornado is based on, it's primarily based on the 1958 Chevy Bel Air from the front and the 1957 Bel Air from the back. So pretty interesting combination there. And these cars from the late 50s, they were just beautiful cars, works of art. And I really love the one in GTA, especially the Benny's version. So, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Benny's Tornado. What are we doing today? Alright, Tornado Custom. Alright, so, let's go ahead and get started here with the armor, brakes, bumpers. Alright, so you got chrome teeth bumper. Okay. And you got chrome bars bumper. And the bumper sits lower too, compared to stock, so that's pretty nice. I think we'll do the chrome bars. Rear bumper. No, oh, pretty much just a spare tire. Okay, I mean, I don't, I don't really like the spare tire too much. I kind of like it without it. Um, so let's do without the spare tire. Chassis, arch covers. Not a fan of the arch covers. Chrome detail, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's do the chrome detail, why not? Baby's all grown up. Got all the different antennas, if you want to put that for some reason. <laughs> Trim, pink pattern, yellow. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting Benny's options there, okay. Uh, tank, oh, fuel tank, so you can, okay, so stock looks like primary color, our secondary is currently chrome, I think. 
Do you do chrome or livery? Uh, I think we'll do chrome in case we change our secondary color. Uh, engine block. So you got the tornado engine cover. So like the stock engine uh, model with, I guess, painted over it. <laughs> okay. And then this one completely changes the engine model here to a V8. Um, the other one was a V8 too, but obviously very bad texture quality. So this one looks a lot better. Um, I think we're going to do the chrome rib covers. Very nice. Air filters. Definitely going to change that. We'll do the twin air filters, I guess. Engine tunes maxed out. Exhaust. So you got the triple shotgun <laughs> side exhaust. Comes right there out of the side of the fenders. Very interesting and different for sure. Okay. Then you got twin side exhaust pipes. <laughs> okay. Then you got twin exhaust. Come out back here. Very nice. No and then you got quad uh, version of that. So I think the, the dual that come out the back is nice. I'll do Just that. Fenders, fender ornaments, that's that's a must. It looks so good, definitely. Uh, got that there, hood. So you got classic hood, that's beautiful. Love that, very nice. Then you got different blowers. Then you got livery on the underside of the hood, and then panel two-tone on the other side of the hood. Interesting, <laughs> okay. Um, definitely gonna go with the, uh, the classic hood, that's nice. Uh, continuing, hydraulics, oh, you can upgrade all these here, might as well, I mean, this back here, it's it's already custom, it's already forced, so, <laughs> might as well make it nice in here, so we'll do the quad pumps, okay, interior, so you got trim, you got trim design, then you got luxury velour, you can see it changes the entire dash too, and of what course the seats, design. door panels, Technology pretty much everything in here, um, looks really good, and you get all the different variants of that. And then you have the leather striped, which is my favorite. I absolutely love this. Looks really good. You see that up there. And then you got different variants of that. Alright, so definitely a leather striped. That looks really good. Completely changes the entire look of this interior. A trim color. Oh, look at that. And it changes our roof, too. Interesting. I think a white. Yeah, we're definitely going to do a white for this. Do the ice white, frost white. The ice white's a bit bright. Hmm. Yeah, I think the ice white. I don't know. The ice white's a bit too bright for the top. For the interior, the ice white looks perfect, but for the outside, <laughs> it looks a little too bright. I think the frost white will do that. And it really makes this interior look a lot better with the white contrast. Um, accent color. Oh, look at that. Even more variation in here. That's insane. And the steering wheel, too. Maybe more white? Let's see how that looks. Nice white. It's brighter than the... Oh, okay, there we go. Hmm. I think... Life is hard I didn't even know that was a thing. What is it right now? It's black. Hmm. Alright, so as good as the, the frost white looks, I think we still need a bit of contrast, and I think the black contrast is perfect, so I'm actually going to keep that. There's a little bit extra contrast in there. Okay, ornaments, for those of you who like the bobbleheads, <laughs> you want to put one of those. Um, dash, so you got all the different patterns similar to the outside uh, side panels. Okay, dials, well, you can change these. I think we'll definitely do some white face gauges. See here, all the different variants. No all. All right, I think the the rocker style, I think those are pretty cool. Something a bit different. All right, let's do Man those. Steering wheels, definitely got to change this. Oh, look at that. The outside is the our primary color. Nice. Um, almost something that looks kind of original. So I think the this one right here probably looks the best. This is nice. We'll do that. Feels good. Uh, column shifters, um, hmm, not sure, maybe lucky dice, why not, put some lucky dice on there, there we go, <laughs> plaques, for those of you who want to put those on there, okay, light color, I want to leave a white, I like the white face gauges, even though it says silver, actually, let's make it white, do frost white, perfect, uh, lights, headlights, we'll leave the yellow, Liveries, all the different liveries here. 
different pinstripes and stuff. For those of you who like that. Crazy <laughs> livery options there. Alright. Continuing. License plate. Plate holder. Oh, look at that. That's sick. Did it do the front, too? I don't even know. Um, I think we'll do the low and slow. It's like the perfect plate for this. Do that. Vanity plate. Okay, now the front is separate. Interesting. Okay. I think we gotta do the class A one. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Very nice. License plate. I do have my America plate. <laughs> Put that on here. Where is it? There it is. And then we'll do the black. Alright. Respray. So, of course, we already got the uh, worn sea wash on here, which I talked about earlier. Um, but just so you can see the difference between matte. Let's see, we try to show the light here. Let me get like something similar. Let's just put like a green on here. And you can see that the sea wash is a bit brighter. It just looks a lot nicer. Um, and of course, if, if I were to put a different color here, I would lose that color. I wouldn't be able to put it back. So, <laughs> definitely got to be careful when you're going through the colors here. Um, accent color, we already did that earlier. We chose the uh, black. Oh, also, I didn't notice the sun visors changed too. Look at that. Um, trim color, what is this? Oh, we already changed that earlier too with the top. Okay. And crumblum goes on the side of the door. Roof. Oh, wow, you could change this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh boy, no thanks. Okay, transmission. A uh, trunk? Oh, you can put different speaker systems back here. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Really no point. I'm not going to put that back here. Turbo. Stick to the speed limit. Wheels. All right. So I'm definitely going to put some Bennies on here. I'm going to go to the Bennies Originals. And I think the... Where is it? I think the smoothies are pretty good for this. Even though we'll keep on looking here. Um, yeah, I think the smoothies are probably the best for this. Yeah, I want to keep that kind of like original look. So we'll do the smoothies and chrome. And then the tire design. Let's see, we have all of it. We got the thin white lines, classic white wall, retro, a little bit too big, red, and then all the different colors there. Um, I think the thin, the thin white line is pretty perfect on this. I think the classic white wall is a bit much, but it doesn't look too bad. It matches our top as well. Um, retro definitely out of the question, but I'm definitely between these. So yeah, I think the classic white wall looks better. We'll do that. Uh, continuing windows, you can do tints on here if you want. Not sure how I feel about it with the tints. Um, I feel like it helps, but I don't know. It kind of hides our nice interior. We'll just do some light smoke, so it's not, you know, a fish bowl here. <laughs> All right, so there's all the options there. I absolutely love this. This is so cool. All right, let's take it for a drive. Exit to ground. I'm here. All right, rev it up a bit. Sounds pretty decent. First person. Oh, this interior came out really good. <laughs> with the sea wash in here with the white top, the black contrast. Absolutely love this. All right. Let's floor it here. Get this color out in the sun. Look at that. Wow, it looks so good. That is really, really nice. Wow. This color is incredible. With all the white contrast, with the white walls, white top, I think it came out really good. And all the chrome as well accents it very nicely. Um, now, in terms of this car, you know, it's, it's not fast. <laughs> Obviously, it's not made for that. That's why I put the low and slow plate. <laughs> It's in the Sports Classics class and is one of the slowest in that class. Um, however, the custom version does handle a bit better than the regular Tornado, but again, it's not not really doesn't really matter all that much because it, it's still a very slow vehicle. Now, it's not turtle slow. I, I think it, it still moves pretty decently once you have a max upgraded like this one. Um, it's not you know annoying to drive. It, it gets around and it holds its own pretty decently. Um, but obviously, <laughs> understeer all over the place. I just ran over a person. <laughs> um, and I think the wheels and everything came out great on this. And of course, this being a Benny's vehicle, you have the hydraulics. So we can bring it up and you can do all the different things with it. And you can slam it and 
go left, right, and you do the hydraulic hops and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and park it over here. It's open all the doors and stuff, and the crazy Prius driver there. <laughs> all right. All right. Got vehicle doors. Let's do all and. Look at that. Very nice. Of course, we already saw most of this on the custom shop, but we get to see it out here. I think that chrome is perfect under there. Um, maybe with some white valve covers. I wish they would have had a secondary valve cover option. Um, the white would have been really nice. Or the accent color, I should say. Oh, wow, even the floor mats match the... That's, that's nice in the white. I didn't even notice that. That looks really good. This came out so nice. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping this one. I've never had... Um, I don't really like lowriders too much, but the way this came out in this color with the white, I really, truly like it, and I'm definitely keeping it. This is... I'm very impressed with the way <laughs> this came out. I probably should have customized the Tornado sooner. It's just been such a long time, and I never really gave it any love. I think I customized it once a long time ago when it came out in 2016, but... Never really went back and actually, you know, did something and sat there really thought about the build. And of course, the soft top does work. You can see here. Boom, going down. Very cool. <laughs> Very neat the way they did that. Look at that. And of course, you bring it back up. Very, very cool. And the windows come up. <laughs> Absolutely love that. I really like this. Well, <laughs> hope you guys liked it as well. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next. Again, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.